Hello everybody, this is uh, Pretoria. Of course, uh, this is Pretoria Station. Just want to give you a glimpse of what the place, what it is like, so bear with me. Don't forget to subscribe and of course to share and also to, uh, to, to like, it's very important. This is Pretoria Station. This is what you call the Hau Train uh, entry station. Hau Train is uh, the train which actually moves in Pretoria. Hau Train, it means uh, the train which is in Hau Ting. So that's the entrance, but otherwise, I'm going to show you very quickly uh, what this is. This building in front of me is actually an old building. Um, and this place is basically very busy. It's an, a connection point uh, in Pretoria uh, whereby people, if they want to travel, you want to use this place. So this building here is quite an old building. If you can see there, it actually was built in 1928. That's about 95 uh, years now, if you can calculate. And of course, as I said, uh, Pretoria Station is quite a busy place. You can find taxis, meter taxis, and you also find these buses which are going everywhere really in South Africa and also in the world. I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. So this is the station. They call it Pretoria Station. It's quite a building, you know, and uh, it's quite an interesting place. And that place, of course, that's the Hau Train Station. Now, Hau Train, it means a train which is running in Hau Ting. Hau Ting is the province in South Africa, one of the provinces, the richest, of course, and the most active one as well. So, Hau Ting, it's not a, it's, it's spelled with a G, but it's not a heavy G like Ga or gold. It's actually Ha, like you must uh, pronounce that uh, with the the back of your uh, the back of, of your um, your throat. So this is Pretoria Station. As you can see, it's quite a very busy place, and that's the building, of course. Uh, it's quite an old building. Uh, that's why I'm here. I'm going to show this to you very quickly. Um, here it shows when this. Uh, building actually uh, was uh, the stone was laid here that is 1910 21st of May so you can see it's an old building which is about 115 now years you know uh, that's quite uh, a long long time indeed and I'm just gonna gonna show you very quickly uh, the surroundings beyond there there are buses which are going to many places like uh, you go into places like uh, Zimbabwe, uh, Botswana and other places as well. But then uh, this is the entrance of the station area. So this place is a very busy place. Um, you can actually, the, this is the entrance and the people are quite busy. I'm not going to show any faces. But this is the inside of it. Um, and the trains here go to Joburg, go to Mamelodi, Attridgeville, and it's quite a very busy place, as you can see. Uh, and of course, uh, it's quite early morning, everybody's running their business. So that's about this place. I'm gonna take you outside now. These are the posters, the signs. I'm going to take you outside. Uh, this is the Intercape. Uh, if you're using Intercape buses, which you saw outside, you actually come right here and you weigh in your suitcases here and all the other stuff. So, and then this is the outside now. If I just walk outside, um, this is where, after you have come into the station here, this interlinks you. Basically, when you look at it, the station is a place which links you to the whole world. So I'm talking about if you want to go to London, you can start from Pretoria Station. If you want to go to New York, you can start from here. If you want to go to Zimbabwe, 
As I said on the other side there, the buses which go to Zimbabwe, Botswana, Maputo, and of course the mini buses also they link the South Africa interior, uh, like all the provinces in Pumalanga, uh, and you can see. So this place here, this is town, of course, uh, and I said, as I said, this is uh, Pretoria Station. You can see it's quite a magnificent building, and uh, of course, it's also an old building. It's quite impressive as well. So if you want to link yourself to the world, come through here. And this is a place also where people can meet. Uh, there are very nice gardens here whereby people can chill, can sit in the lawns. You know, the, the, the grass is actually very well taken care of. So beyond there, that's where the buses uh, to other provinces actually uh, start from. Um, you can see the the horticulture in this place is quite impressive. The trees are relaxing and uh, of course it's a very busy place. And also when you look at it, as I say, the greenery is very good. If you look beyond, it's a bit misty this morning, but you can see the buildings in Pretoria. So you're entering into the city now, the city of Pretoria. Uh, you can buy stuff, you can buy food, and of course uh, there's also in front of me here a hotel this hotel is actually quite an old hotel um, which has been there for a while just like the building Victoria station is an old, uh, old building the place is also around there are also some very uh, old buildings as well and I'm going to show you it's all these people that are traveling so if you're traveling also you use what you call the minibus taxis like the one in front of me they take you around people crossing traffic lights everybody's in a hurry and the other buses everybody's in a hurry so it's a place where things really happen let me cross this road here it's not a very good time to cross and let me try to cross before these people actually start oh yes here we are i've just made it <laughs> It's not easy, but there you go. This is Paul Kruger Street, one of the main streets. And of course, I'm just gonna go across here um, to show you some other parts of uh, the station. This station is also known as Bosman Station because there's a street known as Bosman Street as you go across to there. This is the hotel I was talking about. This hotel is known as Victoria Hotel. It's got its own history, of course. Uh, it was built in 1894. So you can see it's quite an old hotel. Uh, but of course, it's still functional. That's the difference. So these taxis, the minibus taxis, they go everywhere and they stop everywhere. And that's what it is. So uh, it's just showing you still. Uh, this street here uh, is known as Skating Street. So this is the corner of Skating Street and Paul Kruger Street. So I'm just gonna go down uh, to Paul Kruger Street quickly and then to show you this part of these are the minibus taxis they're waiting uh, to take people to a lot of places around and there are people also they're selling you can buy all sorts of stuff here um, and it's quite a busy place this is what you call Paul Kruger Street Paul Kruger was one of the people who actually laid South Africa quite many years ago so that's why they gave him the honor of having one of the streets uh, here named after him just like also there is Nelson Mandela Nelson Mandela um, Street it's also there uh, Nelson Mandela Drive they call it and you can see it's quite a very busy morning and uh, it's quite uh, a link so Bosman station or um, Pretoria station it links you like if you take the how train it takes you all the way to the to um, to the airport into the foyer of the airport and of course you can fly anywhere on the buses as well the buses will take you to places anywhere in the world really 
I've heard of a bus which actually leaves uh, Pretoria and it goes all the way to Ethiopia and uh, of course these are the local buses and this one is one of the express buses which is actually going to where we came from to pick up people some of them of course they are dropping people over there and if we keep going down this is one of the main intersections here the taxis are quite fast but they are also handy because they are, they stop anywhere as i said they also go anywhere this is one of the main streets here uh, you can see the buses are coming through and people crossing people going to school and all sorts of places and also a few on the other side also that's where the taxis are going this will take you to sunnyside and hatfield and arcadia as well from here um i'm going to take you very quickly I just want to run because uh, I'm an athlete so I can run I just want to show you the last place uh, of this place uh, to run this block it will take me about 15 seconds but of course because I'm carrying a camera and also because I am having a bag behind my back I will not take uh, 15 seconds definitely I'll take probably double that so let me go for a run now and I'm athlete, I've, I've run marathons, I've swum, I've run all short races like so that's all Pretoria and uh, let me run quickly this is the place which I wanted you to see I'm a bit of out of breath but I'm right I wanted you to see this place this place is known as the town hall so it's actually a place whereby town hall every city has got a town hall and this is the town hall whereby the mayor and the people also they actually meet and on this same street on the opposite side which I'm going to show you now is actually a museum the museum they used to call it the Transvaal Museum a long time ago but now of course the name has changed uh, they've, got, they've given it quite a, a different type of name let me cross this road here this is Paul Kruger Street one of the main streets actually uh, in Pretoria and here you find this thing here this is a skeleton of old things I like uh, I don't know how to say it but one of the old dinosaur like you know type of thing and this is the museum it used to be known as Transvaal Museum as I said but now it's got a more lucrative name they call it the National Museum of National uh, of Natural History. So, if you want to know more about that, you can also go into there. Okay, guys, I hope you have liked this um, tour or this um, time or whereby I showed you this place. Don't forget to subscribe and, of course, to share and, of course, uh, to to like. Okay. Have a good day guys and this is Pretoria and where I came from of course is on the other side. Have a good day.